Appalachian Wireless is Appalachian Advantage. Unlimited text, talk, and two gigs of data for as low as $45 a month. Or if you like, get five lines on eight gigs of data for just $145 a month. See store for details. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless and East Kentucky Network Company. The Kerbet L. McCotter Biblical Artifact Exhibit in Pikeville will close its doors for good on November 4th. A symposium at the University of Pikeville over the weekend offered an unofficial conclusion to the extended engagement. Archaeologists responsible for unearthing many of the artifacts on display in Pikeville spoke at the symposium and discussed the discovery process and how important those artifacts from the Shiloh dig site on display currently in Pikeville are to biblical history. We stunned the tabernacle was set up there and the Ark of the Covenant within the Holy of Holies. And that's as good as it gets because this addresses, as I said last night, that most basic of human questions. How do we connect with God? And this is why Shiloh is so important. Kerbet El Makata has been a runaway success. Co-organizer Tommy Chamberlain said more than 2,000 people have visited the exhibit since it opened. He said this weekend's symposium punctuated the exhibit providing additional insight and knowledge. It actually brings the text to life. Uh, it helps us understand when they describe something in the text to kind of see it through the ancient writer's eyes. Instead of through the modern perspective, we get an idea of uh, a much better idea of what they're describing. And with the success of Kerbet El Makater, organizers are planning a new exhibit, a mobile exhibit, for Pikeville beginning next year. Another exhibit in Pikeville called The World of Jesus, How Art, Archaeology, and Artifacts Illuminate the First Century. We'll have somewhere between 30 to 50 artifacts from the first century Israel, circa the life of Christ, and we'll be looking at how these artifacts help us understand the New Testament, bring light to the documents. Uh, and one of the fascinating things about the way we're going to do things different in 2018 is a portion of that exhibit will be available for local church groups and community groups to book to actually bring to their church or their community uh, center as opposed to having to come to one area to see it. There will be weekends that we will set it up in a central area uh, here in Pikeville that uh, someone can come and see it uh, in a walkthrough fashion, but the, the primary difference is that the exhibit can actually travel to other locations uh, and it'll travel uh, hopefully all over eastern Kentucky, West Virginia, and Virginia, and we are actually already have negotiations for it to also visit locations in Pennsylvania and Texas. Chamberlain said more information on next year's exhibit will be released at a later date. In Pikeville, Chris Anderson, EKB News.